Welcome back to Hardworking Man. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm dealing with these little tiny logs, the small poles, the ones that don't go through a processor great, the ones that aren't that much fun to buck up all these little things. But the good thing is with the boiler, I can just cut these into big chunks and toss them in. I've got the carbide chain on the 044 because a lot of this wood is dirty. I've got a pile of it over there that I got in a load of free logs. And one day when I was up at the property with the empty dump trailer, I just threw it all in there. So I'm going to grab as big of clumps of them as I can with the grapple, come over by the boiler, just cut them into chunks that'll fit, and throw them on our wood rack so we can have more heat this winter. to be real precise on the length of these as long as they're less than 30 inches. I want them nice manageable pieces to toss in there. That's one nice thing with this log grapple is it's narrow enough that I can just cut down on both ends and like I said I'm not going for any specific length here it's nothing I'm selling it's just for the boiler so now when I drop this all these pieces will be good I'll throw them on the rack grab another pile and this shouldn't take very long so the longer ones I'll throw on this rack and the short stubs I'll just toss in this scrap IBC tote here Now this carbide chain doesn't cut as fast as a regular chain, but it doesn't get dull nearly as quick. So cutting this nasty stuff that's been laying on the ground, this is the one I chose today.
camera lady has to have eye protection. <laughs> this is definitely an easy way to deal with these small firewood poles. They're still worth doing, especially with a boiler, but it was a pain, you know, if you're gonna split these, that's just two pieces where now I can just cut them and burn them and it's gonna make it a lot quicker and it's less than premium wood, but we're still gonna be getting heat out of it. Look at the hard working man, he's actually working today. Even got a hickory stick in here. Not what I love to throw in the boiler, but it'll smell good. I took my mic off so you guys don't have to hear the heavy breathing. So sorry if I talk without my mic on. As you know, I love to talk. Yes, he does. And he's plenty loud. So I don't think you'll have any problems. <laughs> In case you don't think that wood was dirty, look at this one. This would toast a regular chain. That's why he's got that carbide chain on it. That thing is nasty. I think he did pretty good. We only have these two that are a little too long. Everything else seems like it's going to fit just fine. the great big clumps like this they don't all just line up perfect so I can cut them all at once but they still are mostly held tight so I can cut them pretty easily just make sure you don't hit the old grapple because that'll put any chain to bed I shouldn't work with the loader sort of above me, but I think I'll be all right. 
So you don't have to tell me in the comments that I shouldn't do that, I know, but I do stuff I shouldn't do sometimes. So it ain't a how-to video, it's a how I do video. <laughs> One is pine. Does that what smelled really good? Smells good. Not the greatest for burning, but it'll work. I gotta say, I love that Heath has this rack here now in front of the boiler and a couple of IBC totes because at first when we installed it, we were having to get wood from a different part of the yard and drag it through with a, that gorilla cart wagon and <laughs> that was more of a workout than I needed it to be. <laughs> so this is really nice. What do you think, Keith? Well, the ground finally froze, thank goodness. But we have rain coming again next week. So we went from sub-zero temps, exploding maple rounds, to more mud and rain next week. But we've got some wood over here now, finally. We got a little bit of everything, locusts, pine, poplar, hickory, everything. And this only took a few minutes. We're gonna have the rack full and we'll be good for a little while. Yes, because I'm gonna be the one responsible for loading this bad boy for the next few days. So I really appreciate that this is right here and ready for me today. Well, this is all that's left. Probably would take them um, two more grapplefuls and it would be complete, but we don't have time left for that. We're on to a wrestling tournament. So let's go watch Heath fill the boiler. So we're good to go. It hasn't burned that much today. I threw some chunks in here this morning, but we're gonna be gone for quite a while, so I'll toss a few in. We'll go watch wrestling, get back, fill it for the night, and off to work I go. <laughs> I made a bit of a mess in the yard, but all this is tore up mud, so we're gonna turn it into stone next year anyway, so it really doesn't matter that I get some bark and debris here. I've got four pieces, I think, that I left too long. But I mean, we were only out here for a couple minutes and I filled this rack, threw some in here. I'm liking this boiler. If for nothing else, then for just getting rid of this wood. So I've got a new door on order. This one is 
just junk. The inside is rotten out. The handle is what's causing it to leak. So we'll get that. This thing will be running better than ever. I also just checked out four acres of oak, cherry, all kinds of nice, beautiful, tall, straight trees that we get to cut and take what we want for firewood. So if you like watching that type of stuff, firewood, boilers, outdoor tractors, everything we do on Hard Working Man, make sure to subscribe, drop a comment down below and hit the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and have a great day.